Hi, I'm Samson, and I'm from the U.S. And in life, there's not many things I like more than a great, crazy adventure. And today, I'm in the Philippines, and you're coming with me. <laughs> I was born here in the Philippines to my American parents in the 80s. Moved back to the States at age five to go to school, but uh, I've always come back here. The Philippines has always had a special place in my heart. The food, the music, the people, the beer. <laughs> I've traveled quite a bit in the Philippines. It's a place I always tell people they must visit. popular place that has all kinds of things on the menu. You have hamburgers, spaghetti pockets, you have all the breakfast foods, you have fried chicken, sp spicy fried chicken, everything with rice, everything with rice. Come on, let's get something to eat. I wonder if that's on the menu. <laughs> One of the hard parts here is when I try to order the local food. I have no idea how to say it, so I always look like a complete fucking idiot. <laughs> Mostly you just point at the pictures and go, that one. As you can see, the price isn't bad. 89 pesos, a little bit over $2, so... Gotta love it. So I'm here, Jolly Bee breakfast time. I got this, uh, trying this langonisa. I'm sure I'm not saying that right, but it's pretty much like chicken sausage. You got the egg, you got the rice. So let's, uh, let's mix it up. Not bad. Great hangover food. <laughs> so we might be back here again later tonight. We'll see. And this is the Jolly Bee mascot. What do you think? Better than old Ronald? I think so. This is what they call IT Park, Information Technology Center. It's where all the companies from around the world have call centers here. So when you make a phone call or speaking English, but not as well as you're used to, it might be coming from right here in Cebu. Also, it's a great place to go out to dinner, a lot of restaurants, a lot of drinking, a lot of bars. I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. As you can see, the Philippines is a beautiful country, but it's a damn shame when you come to the city and the streets are filled with litter and trash. I don't think they have a system of someone coming and cleaning this up. You'll find trash bags, cigarettes, condoms, anything you can imagine is on these streets. It's disgusting. Now this contraption here is what they call the Tricad. Tri-C-Cat, I've been corrected by the locals. <laughs> this is a Tri-C-Cat. So pretty much if you don't feel like walking or maybe you're too drunk to walk or you're a fat ass from America, this will be perfect for you, fat asses. Let's go. Fast. 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 the streets of Philippines you'll see that most of the houses here the compounds will have a cement wall surrounding them and to keep people out they put barbed wire and my favorite 
Broken bottles and glass. <laughs> hey, whatever works, huh? Nice day today. Not too hot. Usually, man, it gets hot as Satan's asshole around here. This place over here opens up as a market at night, so you can do shopping and all kinds of things. Nice place. get a little homesick while you're in the Philippines, they always have McDonald's. Trust me, after about a month of being here, these golden arches look like the gates of heaven. <laughs> Good old Ronald. All right, when you get here to the Philippines, you're gonna need to get around. Now you have a couple options. You can either take a taxi, which there are a lot of taxis, it's around 40 pesos to start, then the meter runs. They're everywhere until you really need one, then they're nowhere. Another way to do it is by jeepney. Very cheap way to get around, eight pesos. If you learn the system, I would suggest using that, except there's no AC in it. It's quite loud, but it gets you to where you need to go for a very low price, and they're kind of a bit of fun. You can see now we're riding on the jeepney and we're going to head down to Carbon Market to see what kind of adventure we can get into. <laughs> There is people everywhere. Look at that. People amongst people. All right. Now we're gonna head down to the Carbon Market to check out some food. It's one of the oldest and largest farmer's market in Cebu City, located downtown Cebu, Philippines. It's one of the big major attractions here. Now you can see that we finally arrived down here in Carbon Market. We're gonna go check out some of the food, but as you can see, there's a lot of shopping down here also. So, I mean, check it out. If you can't find something here you want, then you don't need shit. Here in the Philippines, there's a lot of traffic and also the vehicles and the cars here are very expensive. So another way to travel very common is people get these, they call them a motorcycle, but in the States we would say they're glorified, extremely loud. And there's a lot of them. You never know what you're gonna find in downtown Cebu. I found some talent, America's next talent. Get them. Over here. Do it loud. Do it loud. Do it loud. There you go. <laughs> Again. <laughs> and as you can see behind me, you'll see this a lot here in the Philippines. Power lines, power lines everywhere. That does not look safe. You'll also see that they're building new buildings everywhere, new malls everywhere, but yet they have lack of power. So what happens, not sometimes, often, several times a day, there'll be what they call a brownout, where all the lights in the city goes out. Philippines, how about this? Instead of another mega mall, just build a couple power plants and clean that shit up. And as you can see, there's a lot of people here that need a lot of money. Alright, so now we're at the market. It's time to try some food. 
Now, I'm not a chef, I'm not a critic, so it's gonna be just my opinion if I like it or not, and I'll be honest with you. So, here we go. I don't know what the hell this is, tempura. but tempura. I don't know what that actually is, but we're gonna try it. It's like a little lizard tongue. It's not bad. Kind of chewy. Really oily. It's not bad. It's not bad. I tried. All right, I'm here with my friend Alfonso. We're still here at the market. This is a local ice cream that they make here. It's called Flavor of the Road. So let's give it a try. Let me have one of this. Yeah, let me have one order. Let me have two. <laughs> Okay, my friends, I do recommend this one. You'll like this. Good. Mm. Good. Good. All right, I'm here with my man Rudy. We're here at Carbon Market in one of the market stands, and we're about to try this shell concoction. So, what is this here, Rudy? Uh, what, is this? what is this one? I tried this one, so I, I tried this here, right? What is this? I don't know. Oh man, it smells like dead hooker vagina. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, gotta dip it in this. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's terrible. <laughs> I would never eat this. It tastes like chewing on goat tongue dipped in the ocean. That's what I would compare that to. Mm. Here, they'll want it. Well, <laughs> well, as you can see, it's not an adventure unless you have an adventurous appetite as well. <laughs> some of them things, not so sure about, but here's some suggestions on some other food you could also try. Tempura, it's a fish ball, you eat it with a dipping sauce. Money, no, it's not what you think that you feed strippers, this is actually a peanut, a native peanut that you will enjoy. Good with drinking beer. Banana cube. It's so hot. <laughs> it's hot. But you get the point. It's delicious. Look, I got all the caramelized, what is it, brown sugar? Brown sugar. And they fry it in this pot. You'll find them a lot of places in the Philippines on the side of the street and everything. It's a delicious snack. Mm, good. I was held up. That's good. And quick, quick. Fried boiled egg with orange colored flour coating. Sounds delicious, right? <laughs> All right, now this one here is also another local favorite. It's called the Quay Quay. I'm sure. It's really a, a quail egg. So, try it. It's actually pretty good. I think you might like this one. All right, so that was the day at the carbon market. Great adventure, try some crazy foods, some good, some <laughs> donkey fucking disgusting, but it was a good time. It's a great place. I would recommend that you also come down here. So now it's time to take a shower and get ready for the part I like the most, the nightlife. It's gonna get weird. The Philippines is one of the most beautiful places on earth. The weather is fantastic, the food is delicious, and the people are great. But like every country, the Philippines also has its dark side. And here, it's in their poverty. It's very common to see people living on the streets. And it's real sad, especially when you see the elderly and the children having to beg for money for food. Sometimes I sit and wonder to myself, why so many have so much in the world, and why others have absolutely nothing? Alright, so 
now we arrived right here at Mango Square. They say this is one of the most popular places. And as you can see, what's going on? So let's go see what we get into. Let's go drink some beer. Well, now we're here in Mango Square and it's a happening place. <laughs> so I can get a lot of fun, a lot more trouble. I'm gonna get a beer. Oh, my man. Thank you. All right, so we have the Philippine beer here. Can I still have that bucket of ice? <laughs> Took my bucket of ice. <laughs> so, here in the Philippines, this is the beer you drink. It's very popular. San Miguel Pilsen. It's delicious. Now, this one is the light version. It's actually my personal favorite because I get fat, so. <laughs> oh, good. But, if you really want to get fucking wasted, you drink Red Horse. This causes a lot of pregnancy, blacked out nights and people going to jail. But you know what? It's also delicious. And the locals love it. Ooh, a little warm. In the Philippines, the weather is kind of warm here, so to cool your drink off, they give you a bucket of ice. So then you just fill your little glass up like this in here, full of ice. Then pour your beer on top of it. Bam. That's how most everyone drinks it out here in the islands. That's how you keep your beer cold. And I'll tell you this, it's also still fucking delicious. <laughs> Woo! Bottoms up. It's gonna be a fun night. Men, boys, you like what you see? Beautiful, right? It's a dude. Lots of these girls out here that are dudes. <laughs> look how beautiful she is. Amazing, right? Maybe you like that kind of thing. So, you're into also guys and things of that nature? Yeah. Like guys? Do you like the American guys, the European guys, the Australian guys, the Filipino guys? Anything. Anything. <laughs> it's the Philippines. You gotta be a little careful. Very beautiful woman. Wait. All right, so I'm here with my man Jason. We're in Cebu City, right here at Mango Square. My friends here from Texas. So you can see people from all over the world visit this beautiful country. So Jason, uh, what do you like about, what brought you to the Philippines? Oh, besides the good weather and, and you know, the great music and culture and food, it, it's, it's just amazing here. And, you know, they have everything that, that the modern conveniences and things that America has, so it, it doesn't feel like an alien country to me. It's, it's wonderful. Except for the bathrooms. Well, you, you gotta <laughs> pick your locations carefully. <laughs> Because sometimes they don't always have a toilet seat. No, they don't. Or paper. Have you learned? Yeah, I'm about to say that. Have you learned to travel with paper? I, I have learned to use the system that they have here <laughs> in this place. Yeah. So how many times have you been here? This is my second time, but I stay, uh, you know, extended lengths of time. I was here six weeks on my last visit. Now I'm here eight weeks. Eight weeks. So what brought you back after the first time? Well, um, you know, just looking for a nice young lady, you know, to share my life with. Nice young lady to share your life with. Yes. They're over here, guys. Now, have you ever made the mistake of running across one that looked like a lady, but was a boy? Is yours bigger than your boyfriend? I'm Asian, so of course. I'm, I'm smaller than Smaller than <laughs> Have not, because the, uh, the the real ladies are, are unmistakably beautiful here. I don't know. I got tricked just a second ago over there. I mean, I'm looking close enough. I guess I'm not. What should I look for? Let's tell everyone what you should look for to try to avoid that kind of bad situation. Uh, you know, the height is one thing. The height. The real Filipinas are petite and that. short. But you know, the Filipino men are kind of short also. Yeah, but there's a definite difference. Plus a facial structure. Facial you, you'll know what to look for. You know what to look for. Yeah. 
if all else fails, just do a dick check. <laughs> you want to get that close? You want to get that close? <laughs> I, I can spot him from a mile away. Spot him from a mile away. Yeah. <laughs> so what's your plans now in the Philippines for the rest of your trip? Well, I'm just going to take in some take in some more sites, uh, take in some of the some of the, the tourist areas, maybe uh, take up some boat rides, and uh, you know some of the historical areas. It, it'll be good. It's a beautiful country. It is. Now, what would you recommend other Americans and other Westerners to come do while they're here visiting the Philippines? Why why would they come to the Philippines? It's always more fun in the Philippines. It's what the ads say. <laughs> and uh, come here, and it's got the most beautiful weather, uh, the, the most beautiful water, white sand, blue water. It's, just, it's, it's unbelievable here. And the price is nice. It is. It's very cost effective to come here and you know enjoy your time. So how are the ladies treating you? Excellent. They're 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 hospitable. They're generous. They're 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 they're, they're giving. It, it, it's it's really truly unlike any other country I've been. Now be honest, have you had any massages? I have not. Ending? I have not. <laughs> this is not Thailand, this is Philippines. This is the Philippines. <laughs> okay, well I appreciate it Jason. It was great man. Like you said, Jason said it recommends the Philippines and so do we. Alright, so we've had a good time drinking tonight, but one of the best, well, I'm not going to say the best, I don't know yet, but a local food is called Baloo. You'll see these guys driving around all the time on the bike and they'll be yelling Baloo, Baloo. Now what this is, it's a duck egg, but it's not really boiled and stuff, so when you open this, there could actually be a duck in here. So let's, let's try it. Oh my gosh, there's juicing everywhere. <laughs> that looks like an entire duck. Oh my gosh, this looks fucking disgusting. <laughs> it looks like a duck brain. <laughs> it's a skeleton. There is a fucking skeleton in this. I can't eat this. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> but this is a very popular thing when you've been drinking. But I haven't drank enough. I'd have to drink probably a gallon of absinthe. Let me try it one more time. I nope, that's a beak. That's a fucking beak. <laughs> Like they say, it's always fun in the Philippines, huh? Well, it's always great to come here. I like everything good. Sometimes it has to end. I will always recommend people to visit the beautiful country and its people here in the Philippines. But for now, it's time for me to head to the next adventure. I'll see you there in the Philippines. What a beautiful, crazy place.